Okay. All right, my mic is on, my video is on, my speakers are up, YouTube's muted, and I have myself on Zoom here on my mobile. Okay, I'm gonna go over a series of things quick, like an update. That's why I titled it Q and A updates. Whenever I have time, I'll do. Uh, I hope every, you know how's everybody doing today. Uh, it's JP here. I um, I oh, I even misspelled that question and answer updates and current events. It's kind of weird looking at me at that screen as it's a 20 minute delay, but it's all. Uh, I'm just gonna keep it open for for this chat right here. Maybe I'll minimize it or so. But I'm um, gonna. So I'm making this to do, uh, make a few announcements and to test. Uh, get, you know, based on what happened last week with the Zoom. Now I've uh, researched it a bit, and I'm gonna try without having to register everybody for the meeting, uh, which is not a big deal either. I want to keep it open because I do invite a good couple of people, and sometimes people pop in. So I'm going to let me lower this volume down. And um, so I'm going to be using utilizing Zoom's waiting room feature. So the waiting room feature uh, allows me to pretty much mute. I hope I'm not muted. No, no, no. My mic is working and I'm recording. Uh, it's on my mobile is muted. So and the waiting room feature allows me to, um, you know, allow people in. Uh, you know, you can put your hand up and I can unmute anybody. So when, if anybody does come in. Uh, I'll, um, I'll, uh, I'll unmute you when I'm done with my, um, with my announcements. So first thing I do want to say is that whenever a storm comes into New York, basically, if, uh, I'll share screen, I'm going to do presentation mode, speaker mode. Well, let me just stop share for one second. Let me make sure I have that setting. So uh, look at that. It, it deleted my optimized for video clip, share sound, advanced portion of the screen, no, share. So, okay. So we're here at the weather. So we have a, we're just gonna go over how, how these see now. This is a storm coming in. Always, always this, uh, the weather comes from west to east to New York here. So not only they fumigated us with chemtrail because I'm, I'm, I'm getting sick and I'm getting nasal. And I know I eat the same food every day i take care of myself the same way i don't come into too much interaction with people you know I, i'll go shopping once or twice a week but uh this is weird this is distracting with this youtube over here on the side so i'm gonna have to figure out something on that um let me see about doing this maybe putting it down here you know what i'm just gonna check it periodically that's it minimize it because it's it's distracting me so i'll check it every once in a while Okay, so uh, over here, all uh, so they fumigated us with chemtrails for the for the past three days here in New York, and it affects me greatly because I'm fully I'm fully detoxed. So anything that enters my body, you know, through my nose, mouth, ears, eyes, skin, it affects me greatly. So um, they could even be spraying us with the C with the CV, you know. Um, I would not even doubt it, but. In addition to that, since everything comes from west to east, even this zoom over here on my mobile is distracting me. So I'm gonna have to put it over here far away so, I, so it doesn't, okay. Uh, and I'll just have to turn every once in a while to look here. Okay, and then in addition to the chemtrails, if everything comes from south to north and then east to west, you could see it, it's coming this way and this way. All of the pollution from all the cars and all the industry and everything comes from, from west to east. 
and and it all gets dumped on us over here in the northeast because it always goes this way. It never goes the other way. If if so, if they call it a nor'easter, and those are those are pretty nice because you get that sea air kind of twirling in. But so that's the first thing. And I'm going to start making this quick. I'm going to just punch these out uh, on this list that I have here. Uh, so in on that note, right, with the, because of the chemtrails and stuff, I'm going to do some type of a series because I do have a lot of knowledge on health and detoxification. So I'm going to do some kind of a series, just quickie, quickie videos on, hey, this is what you could do. Hey, this is what you could do. Because I, I mean, besides right, right now, I'm, I'm in the best shape of my life. And every year I get better and better and better. And this does have uh, something to do with, it, it, it's associated with you being able to to retain information with your brain basically and uh, for you to complete the secure party predator process because if your health is not doing well you know you may have a lot of friction and trouble you know doing this paperwork because you can't remember things and then you know you, you either have this or that condition so so that's that so i'll be making a series on health and detox so uh i mean i just uh, whenever whenever i get questions rather than um you know, rather than just answer them with one particular person, I'm going to just, um, let me see, how could I, this to participants, okay, got it, so that I'll keep over here, so I have a waiting room here, just in case anybody pops in, anybody can pop in, and then I'm going to see, even if I pause, if I stop it, um, or stop the YouTube live, and, uh, but I doubt I can pause it, because I know I can pause my recording on this end, um let me make sure i'm recording oh and i'm in presentation mode so let me see what happens when i turn my phone sideways my cell phone okay good so you can still see me at least so it's kind of like a speaker mode okay and i just want to make sure i'm recording oh, it is recording you are screen sharing i'm recording and i'm live okay that's good now uh so i can get this off the screen here but you know, let it just stay there for a second. Uh, so, yeah, rather than answer somebody's questions, you know, say through an email or so, I'd rather do it live because this way, um, you know, if anyone else has that question, I would have to kind of, re I would have to repeat it. So if every little bit helps, hey, I'm, you know, like I say, I'm not, I don't claim to be a guru or anything, but I do know a couple of things. And then, uh, you know, the reason why I created this group is because I have questions. So when I have questions, if somebody has an answer, they join the group and then they can answer my question. I have a ton of questions and I have a lot, uh, you know, a good number of people that are, you know, more advanced than I am. And I'm going to be asking them questions through email and then I'm going to, you know, uh, uh, or or have them, you know, come on a group and explain what we've discussed. There's some very high level stuff that, you know, that I haven't done, but I want to do. Okay, so that's that. Let me put check marks over here. So I went over that, went over that. So I'll go over, you know, question and answer uh, and then updates. I'm going to give you updates on what I'm doing. And then, you know, the current events, the current events is pretty much Mercury is going retrograde. Everybody is just pretty much dead. There's no activity. You know, it's very, very slow. Like I'm not getting any uh, leads for my, for my business, for my, you know, my roofing business. And um, I, mean, I just got one like 15 minutes ago. I'll call them back when I'm done with this meeting. But, you know. Plus now we, we just got dumped with three days worth of chemtrails and I had to go out. I, I felt it right away because overnight I leave my air conditioning in so I can have some fresh air, supposedly fresh air. Then I was breathing in chemtrail air. Oh my God. I, I felt it immediately that night. I saw when they, I was going to take a snapshot of it, but I said, ah, maybe they're just doing a little. They fumigated us, fumigated us. Who knows what's in there? And, uh, you know, they could even include stuff that, that, that gets us sick. You know, to be honest, like the CV, um, everybody's going to be sick. Everybody's going to be cranky here in New York now. You got to be careful of road rage and all that kind of stuff. All right. So that's that. I, that's what we put a check mark there. Uh, I mean, some videos, I'm going to go over some videos that I'm going to be uh, making upcoming like series and videos. Uh, let me see here. No. I'm going to be doing, uh, okay, well, uh, one thing is, is I'm making that ticket book, 
I don't have any images, but maybe I'll, sh I'll share it when I make a video properly just for that. But, you know, for the legal notice and demand, I'm making a, uh, a, a ticket book. I, I already have it. I just can't, uh, I have the uh, temp template or the um, first draft and it's going to be inside of a leather case. And, and then, you know, and then, so I'm going to be making uh, videos of that and how to get your 98 EIN number. One participant was asking because I'm going to do them. If I could do them next, this upcoming week, I'm probably going to do one a day because you're only allowed to do one a day, at, you know, from one entity. Otherwise, if you have different entities, then you can do as many as you want in one day. There's a whole procedure. You have to have a foreign phone number and be addressed. I'm going to attempt to use my suite. And then you have to have a, a fax plus account. It's like $5.99. You get a foreign fax. I have the Skype number, like $7.99. And then the fax plus as a Mexico number. And But I'm going to try and use the suite as the um as the international address with the outlying islands international 9998 after your zip code 11951 dash uh, 99998 makes it international okay and there was another video let's see here so i already went over then i'm going to answer questions online which i'm going to do right now i solved the zoom problem which is to add uh to do a uh, waiting room so uh, let's see how that works. And and because it's easy, because I can just, I, I wish I could show you. Let me see if it comes up. If I put the participants on here, it takes a couple of minutes to, to populate, but I'll leave that on for a while. And then I'll, because what the YouTube live is about 20 minutes lower. Let me check the YouTube live quick. Let me move that to the side. Okay, got it. And uh, there's a box there, but it doesn't show the information. See, it shows my mouse, but it does not show the information because I have, this is the waiting list, like the participants list. So they block that out. Okay, so I solved the Zoom problem. Okay, got it. Now, let me see what this is uh okay so let me stop this and let me share uh let me minimize this no i don't need that anymore i already went over it i'm going to close that window So I made a video on this. So I'm gonna we're gonna I'm gonna do this today. I have to do this late today. I'm gonna add all my contacts on my mobile phone and on my um, uh, and in my my contacts on Google because I think this is gonna be pretty invaluable right here. This thing called Google Chats. They have one that you have to pay for. It's twenty bucks. It's called Workspace. Um, let me see. I might have that bookmarked. No, it's called Google Workspace. But anyway, it's like, it's, it's expensive. You have to pay for it. I think this is fine for now. You see, I can add people here. We can share files. And then, uh, you know, I can make multiple different groups, like one public, you know, it's kind of like somewhat public group that I'm going to share certain things that I need to know who you are. You know, like I'm not, if, if I haven't spoken to you or if you didn't participate in the, uh, in the Zoom, uh, I'm not going to add you to this, to, to this group. You know, uh, I'm going to have probably two different groups. So uh, this one is this space. They call it a space, not a group. That's why they changed the whole name. Uh, so Sunday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Secure Party Creditor credit Group. Then I'll make another one that's more private. And then I'll make another one that's more private. So, uh, and then I'll work on my Google Contacts. So I already mentioned about that ticket book for my legal notice and demand. And I've already found out I'm going to make you know, like a, maybe a paid uh, section to, to, to do, um, to get 98 EIN numbers and badges because they do go in tandem. You know, you would need to get the badge, you would need a 98 number uh, and um, you could get multiple badges. I'm going to get multiple. And next week, I'll probably get four, three or four. 
and then I'm going to show you uh, everything, but I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to make that public right away. Maybe I'll make it public down the line, but it's going to be a private group. Once I do it, I'll have it all recorded. And then, you know, you could, uh, you know, give me a donation. I'm doing a lot of work here. I have less than a hundred dollars now, probably less than 50. And, uh, you know, I don't, I don't have any work. I'm doing this because I'm passionate about it. I'm focused and driven about it. You know, if you go to my YouTube, uh, JPL International Unlimited, uh, about to have my career, if you're in the field, I should say if you're only um, watching this through YouTube and my cash app is right here as well. All right, that's it, not to get long-winded about that. So the chat we're gonna use, let me see here. Um, and then, yeah, I need it. And that's about it. So now let me jump into answering um, someone's question, okay. I have them here. I kept his name anonymous. Oh, I didn't even open that up. Let me open that up quick. It's a, it's really slow. Wow, that's even a small document. So I kept the person's name out of it, but he's asking these questions. Peace and blessings, JP. I know it's a bit early in the process, but I was uh, uh, taking a look at some of the documents in the drive and have a few questions. When it comes to the birth certificate, what is the bond exemption number ID and how do we find it? Okay, the, these two don't have anything to do with each other when it comes to the birth certificate. So the bond exemption number and how do we find it is right here. Let me bring those up quick. I was, I should have had these already loaded, but I can't, I'm not perfect because it takes a while for these documents to open up. Okay, so to answer that question, um, so the social security card, right? I just redacted this and that's how I even named it redacted. So the social security number and on the back of the card, look, I wanted it, I redacted this not fully. Uh, I, there's three numbers over here and one letter over here. So look, I have five, 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 five. How crazy is that? I love that energy. There's even cigarettes in Asia called five, five, five. All the Orientals and Asians, they consider this to be such a lucky number. And then to top it all off, my first letter, I, I should have not even redacted that, is E. And E is A, B, C, three, D, four, E. So it's uh, so, so it's a bond exemption number. So that is what your bond. This is what your bond exemption number is. It's the numbers on the back. If you don't have them, I would have to reach. I have to find out because they mentioned that in one of the videos uh, about what number to use. You would probably you would use a different number. Um, but this is the back of my social security card, and it has the bond because um, that's it. So that answers that question. Let me go back to that word. Okay. And a birth certificate has nothing to do. Well, I mean, it just doesn't have, when it comes to the birth certificate, what's the bond exemption ID number? How do we find it? Okay. That's done. I have two separate birth certificates, both having a different bond number at the bottom. Okay. So do I have to create, so let me, do I have to create a separate UCC financing statement? Okay. For that, I believe... We're gonna go here. Videos to video number twenty-seven. Let me just see here. What was the question? I have two separate birth certificates. Okay, page twenty-five. So if they put so the Holland Tunnel or the Lincoln Tunnel with that, I want my cut. You know, and I want it in my account. You know, monthly. 
okay. Yeah, I would recommend you watch this video. It's 33 minutes uh, because this is where you're going to list. I have to open up a document. Um, I have to open up a document to show you. Oh. Okay, what was the question again? Yeah, you see here where it says uh, UCC, con this is what you put as your, your, your bond number here, UCC contract trust account organization number. I didn't, I didn't, Oh, hey, wait, 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 wait. Here it is, related bond number. Over here, I put it with dashes, and over here, I put it straight, related bond number. Oh, no, 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 that's the social number. That's the social, I'm sorry. Right over here as the creditor, this is the debtor, this is the creditor, right? This is the related bond number. I, I made this generic as uh, Indiana Jones for everybody to use. Now I'm going to go to page 25 and show you where you put this in. Page 12. Right here. I guess no, I guess I was wrong. It's not page 25. It's page 15. So here I have six birth certificates I got, three short and three long. I put I put this is the same birth certificate number, but there's a serial. I just called it serial ID number. I can call you know you can call it anything you want. I just did this. Who's gonna say I'm wrong? You know, they it's an identifying number. That's why I said, or you could put ID number, whatever. So this is it. I mean, I'll make this available. Uh, you know, to you know to to the group. I have already. I had I put more work in on my master my master doc, but I'm gonna make one available. You know, like to the group, and then this is where you know. You put you put that in birth certificate number. So let me see if that answers that question. This is on your you put it on your schedule A. I have two separate birth certificates, both having a different bond number at the bottom. So do I have to create a separate UCC one financing statement, security agreement? Well, let me do this. The UCC one financing statement, no. You put both birth certificates on, on one. And that I'm gonna direct you to watch video number 19. Now on video number 19, I have a snippet version. You'll see right now. Let me check the YouTube live for a second. Okay. And then I have one that's like an hour long. So this one is 13 minutes, you see here, 13 minutes. And uh, Okay, and on this one here, let me see where, let me just scan through the video. I should have used the VLC player. It's right around here somewhere. It, I, it's you gotta watch this. Here it is, the same right to the spot. So over here, you're gonna do the same thing on your, you know, your UCC. You're gonna do, um, you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna put um, 
all, you're going to list all your birth certificate versions, just like I did on this document. This actually, this same verb, a lot of the same verb, not exactly, but they're going to be listed. If you, if, uh, if you watch my full version of this, which is private right now, but you know, I'm making a paid group. I have a ton. I must have 20 videos that are private. They're too much information. Like I can't share them publicly. I want to, but you know, I'm, I, you know, I, I wanted to do some kind of measurement, but nobody was interested. So I'm abandoning that. So you, you, you know, you guys are going to have to, um, you know, seek me out. It's it's a hundred dollars a month, uh, and 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 uh, what do you call it? A um, and a non-disclosure agreement. That's it. You know, I'll, I'll I'll make it a little less, you know, extensive on the um, non-disclosure agreement. And then, you know, I have a ton of videos. I have a ton of videos that are private. I can't make them public. And then plus documents and stuff that, you know, I have all, you know, you have access to all my documents, $100 a month, $400 minimum to start. So you have it for four months. You can cancel any time. No refunds for $400. That's it. Next is if anybody's interested, my email is all over the channel. Um, so I went over that and... Yeah, I'm not about to, you know, show my full UCC here. It's got all my information. I'm not about to redact the whole thing. So I want to, I want to share it publicly, but I'm not because it has all my information on there. So this one doesn't um, on this video. It's like a quick snippet, and it doesn't have all the hazards of my. But you can't do anything with my birth certificate number. Okay, that's it. Let me see if I answered that question. So do I have to create a separate UCC financing statement, security agreement? Definitely not security agreement for this project, but down the line, yeah, that's that's more super advanced when you do multiple, uh, you're gonna basically do the whole process over again. Not the whole, not the whole thing, but a couple of documents, you're gonna stack them up like pancakes. It's first, it's just, let's say John, all caps, you know, John Doe. Then it's upper lower John Doe caps. You know, no, no estate number, no nothing. Then it's, uh, then you're gonna do a uh, private, yeah. And then, you know, then you're gonna do one for, you know, your 98 against the creditor, which is the upper lower. And then you're gonna get a, a brand new identity and that brand new identity, you're gonna do a security agreement with the 98 number. That's your first and last name, exactly the way it is on your birth certificate. And then after that, then you could make a, like a like a foundation or so, and then um, and then you could you could dictate who owns what. You know, you could you could uh, the beneficiaries could be your foundation, which is mine's is going to be a nation. So my nation, I'm not saying you know the name of it now, but my nation, I'm going to spread my wealth. Evenly throughout my my name, all the beneficiaries, all my heirs, all my uh, neighbors, all you know the ones that are really in my tribe. Yeah, I take care of my people. You know, so this way I'll have all that in place. So this way, if just in case something happens to me, which it's not, if just in case something happens to me or any any funds that I I achieve through all my my whole role of registered mail number, I'm going to use to sue and right every wrong that was ever done to me, everyone. Even even those Nazis that uh, in the clinics and the hospitals in uh, in Brooklyn, New York, they 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 were experimenting with us as youth. We were so we were beautiful children. They they made us sick. They made us sick injecting us with stuff. You know that's my experience being raised in New York, and it affects different people differently. So they in in lower income neighborhoods, they the the uh, all the sh the shots and everything are much stronger. Because, because they know the, uh, you know, the, the immune systems are stronger. So they have, to, they have to be in control of their surroundings. They have to be in control of their environment. New York City Police Department is, is only, is an army for the United Nations. If you didn't know that, I'll make a video on it. They're not a regular police department. They are. They were made to protect the United Nations. They protect it like a military. That's it. So, security agreement, etc., for each one or enter both in the same address. We just answered that. Which documents are required to be? This is all your own preference. They, no, I'm, nobody's saying. I'm saying what I'm doing. I'm putting everything I can on on legal. So, so you could do them all on small. 
you know, that's it. You just have to redo. The, I'm not redoing the, the document. So you're going to have to, you know, do the word, do, do you know, uh, take the word documents and then ch change the size. And then you'll have to move all the paragraphs around. Um, and you you just keep the text and the font and stuff. So, yeah, no one else has done that. They, they pretty much only have done the legal notice and demand. But uh, the legal notice, not the legal notice demand, the power of attorney, they've done that on legal. Most groups, that's the only document they do on legal is the power of attorney. So I'll show you something quick. Um, I have to open, I have to share a file. One moment. Wow, I am getting so nasally. This is the secure party creditor instruction by Karen. This is a must watch video. I'm just going to skim through the area where it says she basically went through everything here. I didn't even get through the whole thing because only a certain amount applied for the first package. Then the other stuff is like second packet. But I just want to show you where she shows her book. She gets it. She gets all her documents bonded right here. See, that's not regular. That's that's not letter. She did them on legal. She didn't recommend anybody do them on legal. She did everything on legal. I'm doing everything on legal. See? all flat there's no there's no lump here where half of it is long half of it is short half of it is long so basically this uh this proves it that it, it did work but you know she this is her seal on the back and she i'm getting mine bonded and then uh this is good also when you go to court you have one that's bonded you know you have one that's bonded you just give them the whole book and then uh you know you, you're like uh no, no, no that one you that one has to be viewed uh under in my presence because that's an original. If you want, you give them a copy. You give them a copy of the book, not original, not original wet ink signatures. And then, and then, if they want to examine the original, you have to do it in your presence, if in chambers or you know whatever. But in your presence, don't let nobody touch. That's you got God, God that with your life, the originals. So this is what you need to look forward to. I, I have to watch the rest of this video, but I pretty much went through a good amount of it. Let me see here. What? Somebody just texted me. I don't know if it's, let me just see if it's involving this video. One moment. No, it was Uber trying to, trying to sell me something. Say that I can make $29 an hour. Okay. Now I'm back here. I wonder how long we've been uh, recording for. Let's see. I can't even tell. No, I said 43 minutes. Okay. So let me see. Let's look through this video. All right. I need a, I, I need a serious breath. It's 1130 over here, but you can't see it because I can't move. Maybe you can because I'm in presentation mode. Um, I don't know if you could see the time here. It's eleven thirty. I'll check it on the on the on the video, the recording. Let me see if I answer all these gentlemen's questions. Which documents are required? Which documents are required to be printed on? All right, so I just answered that. Yeah, I did it because I took I I'm, I was I woke up early four o'clock this morning. I was organizing all my notepad my my post-it notes because I live off of post-it notes. So I basically took everything that I wanted to mention in this video and just laid it right here. I went I went through these already. Worked on Zoom, the Google Contacts. I went over legal notice, demand ticket book. Um, I'm going to be getting a, a, a version of QuickBooks because that's how I'm going to send. I'm going to do the administrative process. I've always used QuickBooks, so I'm going to use QuickBooks. Videos to make, I went over. And, oh, okay, one thing I could go over is um, I'm going to, you know, to, 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 for me to add you into this group, 
I'm basically going to go and everybody I've communicated with, everybody I've communicated with that I pretty much know they're, uh, you know, they're a decent person. Uh, I'm going to make them, I'm going to add them to the contacts. You know, I'm going to add them to my contacts. What is this here? Keep. It's somewhere over here where it pops out. And, and uh, so I would, I would need to know, you know, like your lawful name, right? Uh, where do I have that written? You know, your, your lawful name and then what you want to be called. And then, I'll, you know, so this is why I can call you that, uh, like a nickname. And I'd love to know what state you're in. And then for some people, you know, maybe their age, you know, so make sure there's nobody under 18. And, you know, you know not the ladies, you know, not the ladies, but uh, unless they mind, you know, they don't mind, you know, email, mobile number. So this way I can keep in touch. And then I'm going to add you onto my contacts on Google and on my mobile phone. So this way I know, and I'm going to put like a code before it, like G for group, you know, like private group, public group. And then this way we won't have the same situation with the, um, with the attack that it took last Sunday's meeting. Okay, so I went over that. I went over that. I went over. I went over the instructions by Karen. I went over the 98 EIN. I'm going to make videos on there. Okay, Q&A, answer your questions, solve the Zoom problem, birth certificate, bond exemption, video 27, done. Okay, that's it. I am going to end this. Let me just check this live here. Oh, I'm going to do a test. I want to do a test. I want to do a test if, if I stop this. Uh, first, I'm going to stop the share. And I want to do a test if I stop the live stream and I start it up again. Does it start a brand new one? Pause recording to the live stream. That, because I, I, yeah, let me see this. So this, this second video, question, <laughs> question and answer updates and current events, this is a part two. There were already two people on the, on the prior one, uh, but, but I, I wanted to do a test if I can pause the live, but I was not able to. So if D, if you want to come in and ask uh, and ask that question again, let me just go to that. What am, am I sharing screen? No, I'm not sharing screen. All right, let me just do something quick here. F five live to watching. F five. Okay, so that one went forty one minutes. And they didn't understand. See, I can't send a message anymore. Oh, I can see the chat and answer his question. Where is the chat? Oh, maybe because there was no live chat at that time. I'm just looking here, I'll show you. How come I can't watch? How come I can't see the chat right here of this video? I just want to, I just want to just take that question. How come my chat replay is not showing?
what is going on here? How come my chat replay is not showing here? Ah, maybe it takes time to buffer. That's exactly it. Because they're they're uploading the video. So anyway, I could not catch what, what, what question D had. So uh, I'm not gonna be able to answer it. That's it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do this once in a while and whoever's available, they can pop right in. I think it's a great idea because I want to, you know, interact with uh, with with people uh, and participants from the group. So whenever anybody, I'm available in the mornings because I do all my work. You know, I work, I wake up early, I do my work, and then um, if anybody has questions from the night before, I'll, I'll answer them and I'll make a video if I have the time. That's it. I'm gonna end this, and then I'll edit all of them. So what am I gonna do here? I'm gonna stop share. And I'm just going to end. End meeting for all. Yeah, let me see the chat right there. That's good.